Hello students. Number one, we have the triple integrals in cylindrical coordinates. Currently, class, we have the triple integrals in Cartesian coordinates. So, what is meant by cylindrical coordinates? We call cylindrical coordinates is a triplet r comma theta comma z where r and theta they are the same r and theta as in the polar coordinates and z is the same as the z in the Cartesian coordinates so if you want to locate a point on, in the space So, first as in the polar coordinates, you move in the xy plane. You move r distance from the origin and rotate through an angle theta. So, you will reach a point in the xy plane. So, the Cartesian coordinates of that point may be x, y and the polar coordinates are r comma theta now you move up or down by a distance z so you will reach the point r comma theta comma z in cylindrical coordinates okay and the advantage of cylindrical coordinates is it is very easy to represent the cylinders using cylindrical coordinates and uh, further advantages we can see in the sequel for example in the context of integration we have some advantages certain things which you can't integrate using Cartesian coordinates can be integrated using cylindrical coordinates so uh, to uh, integrate a function defined over a region D or domain D in the R theta Z space so this is the domain shown what we do is we project uh, the domain D onto the XY plane or the polar plane and suppose that this is the shadow region ok now look at these two surfaces so the domain D is bounded by uh, the surface Z is equal to G1 of R comma theta in the lower side and uh, the surface Z is equal to G2 of R comma theta in the upper side ok so this uh, these figures explain how to set up the limits of integration in triple integrals in cylindrical coordinates so uh, triple integrals as uh, usual will be evaluated using Fubini's theorem as iterated integrals so you need to set up limits for the set coordinate you need to limit uh, you need to fix limits for the uh, theta coordinate or theta variable and you need to fix uh, limits for the r variable so how to fix the limits that's what we are going to discuss so let us go to the next slide so triple integral it is denoted like this so triple integral over of a function f function 
EFF R, theta, Z over a domain capital D in the R theta Z space. So domain D lies in this space. Instead of XYZ space, here it is R theta Z space is uh, denoted by like this triple integral over D F of R comma theta comma Z dV and by using Fubini's theorem you can evaluate this so this is by Fubini's theorem F D F T Fubini's theorem this uh, triple integral is equal to iterated integrals integral 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 so z varies here from some lower limit to some upper limit then uh, r varies from some lower limit to upper limit then theta varies from some lower limit to some upper limit this we have to find out f of r comma theta comma z and dv is not just dz dr d theta it is dz into r dr d theta r d r d theta because in double integrals in polar coordinates you have dA equal to r dr d theta do you remember that in double integrals in polar coordinates d, a, d area or dA is equal to r dr d theta not just dr d theta so here dV is uh, not just dz dr d theta, it is dz into r dr d theta. So, area is r dr d theta. Area into height will give you volume. Height is dz. Okay. So, here dv is equal to dz r dr d theta. D Z R D R D theta. Now you have to set up these limits of integration. So how do you do that? So let us go to the previous slide. Yes. Um, so this is uh, what are the lower limits of uh, what are the limits of integration with respect to the set coordinate? So fix a point r comma theta in the shadow region and uh, draw a line l yeah this is the r comma theta point and uh, draw a line m like this parallel to the center axis passing through the point r comma theta and uh, this uh, line enters the region at the surface z is equal to g1 of r comma theta and leaves the region at the surface z is equal to r g2 of r comma theta so the set limits of integration are at the lower side it is g1 of r comma theta and at the upper limit it is g2 of r comma theta so let us write it down so where is the eraser I think uh, this one is the eraser. Yes. So set varies from G1 of R comma theta 
to g2 of r comma theta these are the set limits of integration like in the case of cartesian coordinates now what are the r limits of integration so r limits of integration just let us go to the previous slide um so suppose uh, this uh, region in the polar plane these are bounded by the curves r equal to h1 of theta and r equal to h2 of theta and uh, draw a line l yeah this one passing through the point r comma theta aerially outwards and this line it enters the region or shadow region at the curve r is equal to h1 of theta and leaves the region at the curve r equal to h2 of theta so the theta limits of integration are small r is equal to h1 of theta to r equal to h2 of theta in the lower and upper sides respectively so r is equal to h1 of theta h1 of theta to h2 of theta here it is said now what are the theta limits of integration so let me remove this question mark i have to fill up that so suppose that the shadow region is swept out by the line l when theta varies from alpha to theta to theta is equal to beta so this is the theta equal to alpha and uh, this line is theta is equal to beta when uh, l varies from theta equal to alpha to theta equal to beta the whole shadow region is swept out so the lower limit is theta equal to alpha and the upper limit is theta is equal to beta so let us substitute so this is theta equal to alpha to theta is equal to beta so this is uh, by fubini's theorem by fubini's theorem triple integral can be evaluated in terms of the iterated integrals so this is uh, r variation r varies from h1 of theta to h2 of theta z varies from g1 of r comma theta to g2 of r comma theta thank you